for that, Paul. A very hot summer, and unfortunately, we're not getting too much relief overnight. Yeah, the nights have been very warm, and there's a reason for that. Holly Bach is live in Phoenix to explain why, Holly. Well, guys, this is all because of the urban heat island effect. Phoenix is growing with more people. That means more buildings are going up, more roads are being paved. So they absorb the heat during the day and slowly release it at night. That's why it's still 110 outside right now. It feels like a sauna. It is so hot. Oh, we, we got a little mister. <laughs> yeah, I just spray it on and it keeps you cool all day. Hopefully. <laughs> On the hottest day of the year, people are doing their best to stay cool. But even when we enter the overnight hours, it can still be pretty challenging. That's because of the urban heat island effect. Once the sun goes down, the buildings and the roads start releasing that energy, but they do it much more slowly through the night, so it keeps those temperatures really high. Paul Inges with the National Weather Service says communities are working to try to mitigate this effect. That's usually changing the type of building uh, structures that you have, what the buildings are made out of, different reflectivity. So if you use uh, lighter colored materials that can reflect the sunlight back into space so you're not hanging on to it, green cover, canopy, those types of things can have a positive impact, impact on keeping the temperatures down. And this heat is no joke. 13 people in Maricopa County have died because of the heat already this year. 92 deaths are under investigation. This shows just how much the number of deaths has increased over the years. Last year, there were 338 heat-associated deaths. That's up 69 percent from 2019. Even if you're someone that's lived here 10 or 20 years, you know, those temperatures have really gone up a lot in the time that you've been here. For this born and raised Phoenician, it's something she has noticed firsthand. Oh, yeah, definitely. From a kid, like you could play outside all summer, you'd go to the pool and then you'd get out and you could still like sit on a bench or like sit on a chair. You can't do that now. And the National Weather Service says that overnight temperatures are actually warming even more than daytime high temperatures, almost a full degree every 10 years. Jamie, back to you. Holly, 